So, I uh, accidentally hit my end record hotkey uh, while recording this last video, so I'll try to do this again. <laughs> uh, today I'll be going over this project I've kind of been working on and off over the past month for creating character uh, Catherine character mods for Catherine Classic for Steam on PC. So I guess first I'll go over kind of how it works and then give a demonstration of it actually. So I have two monitors, so on the main display I'll have um, go over some of the code and then I have the game running on my other monitor. So to kind of begin I guess I will go over where the Catherine game files are stored. So they go under your Steam library. For me I put this on my second hard drive but I think by default most people use their C drive. But so your Steam library, Steam apps, if you've ever taken a look at here this is where all your game files will go. So for instance if I look at Catherine Classic though they actually included a lot of the files just come with it. Some some different games will try to hide or obfuscate this in different ways. Uh, but no, a lot of the Catherine stuff is just kind of stored directly under data. So for instance, if you take a look under character, you can imagine what kinds of things are under here. Uh, however, the Gamebryo engine used to be called NetImmerse, uh, which is relevant for this .nif, this knife format, is the NetImmerse format, um, NetImmerse file. So these are the character assets, the character models, and then the pack files, the PAC. I believe those are like scripts related to the models. Um, but so anyway, in order to do these kind of character mods, it really is quite as simple as copying and pasting certain files and renaming them. So like if I take this 14.nif and I copy it to the 15 location and rename it to 15, uh, I can use 14's asset as 15. Uh, so it's really actually just quite that simple and similarly there are files for blocks as well so I create a tool just to kind of uh, quickly script that and do that on the back end so I will include the link to that uh, in the video description but to kind of show what that might look like over here if I check out my downloads over here uh, if I run this program you'll see this starts up I've just called it Catherine reskin uh, and all it needs is just the location to your Steam library path. So in my case, that would just be la -di -la -di -la over to Steam library. So I would just copy and paste into here. Uh, and you'll see that there are tabs here for characters and blocks. But for instance, if I wanted player 2 to maybe be Vincent, and I wanted player 1 to be uh, the prince, and I click apply config on the back end all this has done has um, copied some files around but now if I load into the game on underground cemetery for instance it'll take a minute to load here or a couple seconds but you should see that the characters have now swapped and sure enough they have um, some of the models get a little bit distorted like you can see the prince there his cape is uh, kind of constantly out and he is now wearing like thigh-high socks um, but yeah uh, technically things work they also share the voices of the original character so everybody sounds like Vincent even though they might not look it which is kind of um, a little bit strange when you can also play as the different sheep the different enemy models um, but anyway that is just for instance the characters uh, next I could show off the blocks. Um, blocks have different kinds of skins you might be familiar with if you're familiar with Catherine is the original kind of stuff. Rapunzel variants, the Babel variants look different. As well as they have um, the developers, I guess they left in the placeholder models. Uh, so you can actually use those as well if you would like. I won't go over everything here obviously, I don't have time. But um, I can kind of show you for instance common kind of complaint about quadrangle is that the ice blocks are a little bit tricky to see so if I were for instance able to go down here I happen to like the placeholder blocks if I apply the config and I load up quadrangle uh, I would recommend also using this at the character select screen I uh, you typically don't want to mess with things after they've already been loaded into the game um, so that's my recommendation but it's fast enough to you can see the ice blocks have changed and it's pretty seamless 
Uh, the logic for the blocks is separate from the models, so they you know still act the same way. Their properties are all the same. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of really just swapping out assets. So it's a very simple program, but hopefully it is uh, convenient enough to use for somebody. It's it's fun, and it was just a simple thing to kind of code up. Um, like I said, I'll post the GitHub link in the description for anybody who wants to check that out. It's just a matter of if I go, you'll see the, the post for it, the release, but down bottom there is the main.exe, so just download that, you'll be good to go. Um, yeah, I think the next step in terms of Catherine modding would be decrypting the actual um, uh, like scripts of the game itself, um, but that is a much more difficult task. Um, but yeah. Like, for instance, if you check on here, you can see that there is uh, a whole bunch of, of stuff. <laughs> if I open up some of these, you'll see that these are like some SP2s and let's see. Uh, I won't go into too deep. But anyway, the next step would be actually getting to a point where we're able to mod, uh, for instance, maybe the Catherine levels would be very cool. Um, but yeah, for now, just the character and block assets are readily available to change. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Hopefully somebody can find some use for this.